Hi there, welcome back to your yoga challenge. This is the week, this is the final week in the home stretch. I hope you're feeling great and learning something new about yourself each day. Um, today we're going to be on the floor again, seated, and this one's for the hamstrings, hips, and for the spine and low back. So I'm going to come back to my mat. And you can be on a mat or a towel or blanket on the floor. We're just on a rug. Hard surfaces are fine too. So you're going to sit up nice and tall. This is called an L sit. So I'm going to have my pelvis neutral. And if you're really rounded through the back, you might want to sit up on the edge of a blanket or something so that your seat's a little bit higher. It helps to tilt the pelvis forward. You can also move your sit muscles out of the way, hands by your side, pull your toes back, sit up really tall, <clears throat> expanding through your chest and heart space. And you're gonna squeeze the muscles in the legs. Just build a little bit of heat here before we get into the deeper stretches. We'll hold it for five, four, Three, I really feel my quadriceps here. Pull the front ribs in a little bit for two and one. Good, and then keep the left leg where it is. You'll slide the right foot into the inner left thigh. Reach both arms up. You wanna keep that feeling of the L sit through the, the left leg, nice and firm, and then extend forward. Go wherever you can. If you can't reach your foot, hands can be on the floor or on either side of the leg. Drop your chin to your chest. Feel that stretch through the back of the left leg. I like to keep my left toes up towards the ceiling, drawing the pinky toe edge of the foot back ever so slightly. I try to lengthen through the spine. Take one more breath. And then use your hands to walk it up. And then you'll bring your right right foot flat. And this foot can be on the inside of the left leg or the outside. So you choose where you want it to be, but you want the right foot to stay flat on the floor. I'm going to keep my foot on the inside. Then the right hand goes behind the back. And you can just hug the right knee in as you gently twist to the right. Maybe looking over the back shoulder. Good. Take one more breath of here. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, gently twist. Slowly unwind, straighten the right leg and switch sides. Bring the left foot into the inner right thigh, firm the right leg, inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Drop your forehead towards your shin. So stretch along the back of the right leg, maybe into the lower spine as well. Slow, deep breaths. Rise up slowly, set your left foot foot flat, either inside or outside that right leg, but make sure the foot's flat on the floor. I'm going on the inside, hook your right elbow around the left knee, left hand behind the back. Inhale, lift up into the crown of the head. Exhale, gently twist to the left. Inhale, keep that right leg firm, connected, grounded. Exhale, twist. One more breath. Slowly unwind. Both legs in front, one final forward fold here, reach up tall, lengthen, 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 and bow and stay with a stretch on the whole back side of the body. Being kind to yourself, let it be easy, no forcing. And then slowly, gently roll it up and I hope this practice is contributing to your life in so many wonderful ways, and I'll see you tomorrow.